Hello beauties, I'm here today to speak with Dr. Paul. Let's talk about plastic surgery. Hi Dr. Paul, it's a pleasure to have you here today. Thank you, look forward to talking about plastic surgery. Yeah, uh, Dr. Paul, uh, my first question, what type of patient are suitable to breast augmentation? So there's a number of different types of patients we'll commonly operate on for breast augmentation. Most commonly patients who've got smaller breasts, they'd like to make them larger. Uh, but also some patients after pregnancy and breastfeeding can lose volume. Uh, and also another group of patients you know, whose breasts haven't developed properly. They've got abnormally shaped breasts, you know, incomplete development. So that'll be another group who'd be suitable for this type of procedure. What type of implant could we have? There's a wide range of implants available, diff different sizes and volumes, but also shapes, you know, round. Is the paint of client the, behind? Yeah, there's, there's round and there's also teardrop or anatomical shapes. So we'll decide with a patient a consultation. This is not the, the paint of the body, like to do the, the shape. Yeah, I mean, we, we'll, we'll discuss with a patient a consultation what their current bra size is, ideally what size they'd like to get to, and then take a number of measurements and then try some trial sizes in a trial bra and they'll look at those in front of the mirror to decide how, how big a breast they would like and what shape and then we will then recommend you know, a particular one or two types of implants that will be most suitable. What's more common? Well there's, there's both round and teardrop shapes. Round are probably a little bit more common depending on the surgeon's practice. I, I use about 60% round, 40% teardrop. Uh, depending on the patient's requirements and their body shape. You know, a patient who's generally more slimmer with less breast development, smaller breasts, wanting a larger augmentation, particularly if their chest wall is quite flat, we would tend to use a teardrop mm -hmm. implant. For the other majority of patients, we would tend to use round implants. You know, they would both give a good result, depending on the starting point. Should the implant to be placed under or over the muscles? Yeah, I mean, most commonly we'll, we'll cover the top half of the implant with muscle to smooth the upper part of the upper part of the breast and make it look more natural. Uh, but the lower part of the implant will be just covered by breast tissue only. So that's called a dual plane approach. So that gives the best combination of the implant being over or under the muscle. I think in a small number of people who have quite good body weight, you can put it on top of the muscle. But the majority of cases I will place in the dual plane, covering the top half of the implant with muscle to make it look more natural. What is the implant made of? So most commonly we'll use silicon gel or cohesive gel implants that are made of silicon in, in like a firm jelly. So it's a semi-solid material. If you were to cut the implant, it would bulge out but not leak everywhere. Uh, that gives you the most natural feel and the maximum durability of the implant. It's a, safe, it's a safe material to use. It doesn't cause breast disease or other disease around the body. But eventually the implant will have to be replaced after about 15 to, to 20 years provide you use a high quality implant and you don't smoke. How long does the surgery take and what recovery they need? The procedure takes, well, it's done the general anaesthetic, it takes about one hour to one hour and a quarter. The patient can have it either as a day case or stay one night in hospital. Uh, it's use, we use an incision just underneath the breast to place the implant in position uh, and then use some drains to let the fluid out for a few hours or overnight. Uh, and then the patient will go home the following day uh, have a dressing change in about a week and then wear a sports bra to around six weeks. So depending on, on the patient's job they'll need one to two weeks off work. Uh, as I say we'll do the dressing change in about a week uh, and then they can get back to work after the first or second week. And about exercise? Yeah so sports for the lower body they can start gently at three weeks post-op so that would be using an exercise bike or a running machine but involving the upper body it's four weeks on You can come back easy, normal, like not, normal. not before four weeks for weights, you know, aerobics, swimming, um, Pilates, you know, okay, for four you weeks. You can have your possible. normal life. <laughs> After four weeks, After yeah. Four weeks. And you wear a sports bra for six weeks okay. just to hold the implants in position until they're, they're fixed in that position. How people be prepared for this surgery? So, usually when we see a patient in clinic, we would, you know, we'd like to establish they've got a clear view in their mind of, of the result they'd like to achieve. Um, so they're well focused in that area. Uh, also that they're medically fit, you know, from a general perspective. Mm -hmm. uh, for most procedures they shouldn't smoke. Uh, okay. They should stop smoking for at least a month pre-op. Yeah. Uh, and also any certain medications we would like to avoid, like anti-inflammatory drugs that can that cause bleeding. 
Um, that would be the main areas we, we, we would focus on. You recommend any diet uh, massage as well for so, this? So, so following you know, up to surgery, it's good to have a healthy diet with plenty of protein, vitamins, vitamin C, multivitamins, minerals. And then following surgery to maintain that, but for most procedures, you know, they benefit from regular massage, particularly procedures such as abdominoplasty, liposuction, fat transfer, you know, arm lifts, thigh lifts, just to get the swelling down more rapidly and to speed the, the recovery from the procedure. Thank you, Dr. Paul, and uh, see you soon for the next video. Great, great to speak to you, Grace. Look forward to the next one. Bye! Jerusalem Beauty. A gente cuida de você.